Good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Outlook Express to get email. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is put an icon for Outlook Express on my desktop since there's not one here currently. So what we're going to do is click on Start, go to Programs, and we're looking for Outlook Express. When we find it, we're going to highlight it and right click on it, and we're going to go down to Send To and then choose desktop. See how it says create shortcut in parentheses there? We'll click on that. And now we have an icon. Alrighty, so to get this configured, go ahead and open up Outlook Express. Alright, for the very first time that this runs, it's going to ask you to set up an account since I don't currently have one. So what we're going to do is go ahead and set this up with, some, with your display name. I use my name here, Chip Smith. your email address. So I'm going to put in my email address. Okay, so depending on what ISP you're using or what email um, you're using depends on what's going to go in here. I'm using OliPen and for those people out there using OliPen pay attention because this is important. What we're using here is for the incoming mail server and for OliPen that's going to be POP3 dot olipen.com okay and for the outgoing mail pay attention olipen users this is for you as well uh, it's going to be smtp just like it says here smtp dot olipen dot com for everybody else you may have to ask your ISP uh, what mail servers are using and they'll happily give that to you and you'll put those in here after you have that, go ahead and click Next. This is your account name. So depending on what your ISP has set up for your account name is what you're going to put in here. So let's see, my account name is chip at chip-smith.com. OliPen users, all you're going to use is the first part of your email address. So if it's john at olipen.com, you'll use just john. Uh, go ahead and put in your password here. OliPen users do not have to use the logon using secure password authentication, so you can leave that unchecked. And I do leave this remember password option checked. We'll go ahead and click finish, or next, and now we click finish. One further step for OliPen users and many other users out there is we have to configure uh, our outgoing mail to use authentication. To do that, we're going to click on tools and go down to options. Excuse me tools and down to accounts. Uh, waiting through the mess here we have one that we just set up pop3.olipen.com or you can click on the mail tab here at the top pop3.olipen.com. We're going to go to properties and um, you'll click on the servers tab here at the top. Down here at the bottom my outgoing mail server uh, my server requires authentication. OliPen users should check this, otherwise you may have an issue sending out email. We'll go ahead and click Apply, set that setting there. Another quick setting that many people like to use is under the Advanced tab, and that's leaving a copy of your messages on the server. I do that as well. That way I can check my emails uh, when I'm not at home. I can check them while I'm at work, um, other places. And uh, basically what this option does is just copy or downloads a copy of the messages to your computer into Outlook Express but still leaves them on the OliPen server or whatever mail server you're using for the time being. Um, I also set this option here that says remove from server after five days. So after five days of after they've been downloaded to my computer then they're automatically deleted from the mail server on OliPen's side. Okay, go ahead and click apply and OK. We'll click close and you, everything should work when you click on send and receive it's going to receive your messages and everything is working if you have any questions feel free to email us at chip at chip-smith.com